Thank you very much, Stephen. Um, I know Stephen was saying to, to Duncan it was 11 years since you were here. It's 45 years since I was a student here, so I think I even predated Stephen as a lecturer. Um, <coughs> improved productivity in Scottish agriculture. This is not a government view, this is just my views. So I think the starting point for me is that Scottish agriculture is productive. There's no doubt about it, it is productive. Given that we've got a lot of natural constraints to contend with, but it is a very productive industry. I do believe, though, that there are issues that must be at the heart of that going forward. And one of them, touching on some of the, the work that I do, I think a lot of the production that we have was driven by subsidy, driven by subsidy and support. I think we're moving to an era where support will reduce. There is absolutely no doubt about that. Never mind what, the, what happens in this referendum at the end of June. If we, if we exit, I think we're in for a sticky time. <laughs> if we remain in, even then, I think, I think that support will be reduced. We've seen the beginnings of that with, uh, with Mr. Chollis trying to retain the budget through the introduction of greening. And that's the only way that he was able to retain that budget. So support will come down. And I think businesses have to wake up to that fact. We thought that would happen when we went from coupled support to decoupled support. And here we are, eight, nine years later, ten years later, and people, businesses are still not tuned into the fact that support is, is reducing. Um, I think, therefore, businesses have to look forward. Sports, the support system is not going to be the, the cushion. <coughs> So carry, carry on, one of, one of the other things that I, I think that needs to be considered in this is, uh, and Andrew touched on it, is sustainability, being more efficient. Um, you know, there's no point in being more productive if it's not making you any more money. I mean, if you look at, if you look at the dairy sector, the numbers have come down, cows have come down, we're still producing the same amount of milk. You know, sheep, lamb, lamb percentages in sheep over the years from when I was a student 45 years ago have risen dramatically, you know, but ours, is that sustainable in, in terms of being profitable for businesses? Um, one of the things I, I, I was uh, considering, you know, slaughterhouses now put a 400 kilo uh, weight limit on carcasses. Well, why are you producing a carcass that's bigger than that? You know, are we, are we needing to go back? I, I'd, I'd sort of put the start of this uh, down as back to the future. Are we needing to look at native breeds that are more easily kept? you know, that maybe produce a smaller carcass, but is that going to be more sustainable long term? Um, and the last point I want to make is, it's about uh, land use integration. You'll see there's an awful lot of stuff going about about land reform and things, but do we use the land that we've got at its most efficient? And in integration terms there, forestry, I think, has a part to play it. I just given the example, uh, Andrew was talking about New Zealand. Uh, my son lives in New Zealand in the kiwi fruit industry, uh, works in the kiwi fruit industry. But out there, when you go into some of these farms, they'll have dairy, sheep, and they'll have trees, all part of the business. And I think maybe, you know, we've got into a position where you've got farmers and you've got foresters. And neither, neither of the trees will meet, particularly in the hill and upland areas. But forestry has moved on an awful lot in the design of the forests and open spaces and actually looking to integrate into the landscape and into the farming businesses. So I think there's a real potential there, in, particularly in some of the hill farming areas, uh, making strategic planting could make, can make production. You don't need to reduce the sheep. You, the subsidy is payable on it if it's under a forestry grant scheme. You're probably going to get some shelter, you've got fencing, you'll get access. It's about providing the benefits for all, all that. So these are the sort of things that I think prepare for less subsidy, less cushion. Look to be more efficient, sustainability, even if it means going backwards, you know, to an old native breed <laughs> rather than some of the chasing the great big calves and, and, and lambs. And also let's look at the land use integration. <laughs>